Hey, welcome aboard everybody. I'm Old Guy Jim and this is my humble channel and today we're talking about the Tessie kill button switch. All right, there it is. And what I want to bring to your attention today is that the darn thing is a little bit hard to press. There's a few ounces of pressure there involved and maybe even upwards of a pound. I could put this on a scale. Maybe I'll let you know in the comments, but just take my word for it that the thing is Takes a little bit to press, so those really light, fast taps you think you might gonna you're gonna complete or get away with, uh, you got another thing coming. So, what I wanted to just do today is tell you how simple this thing is in installing, and then maybe offer up the idea of going to an auto parts store and checking out some switches you can feel before installing all right so it's just a normally open switch momentary switch so as is it's open there's no connection in the switch now it has two long wires on it that go from the switch down to the input jack there's no connections to the pickups or the volume pots it's just a wire to the ground and a wire to the signal so something a wire on the tip and a wire on the shaft of this plug normally open so that when you engage it, you're grounding out the guitar. Just like that. So it's super simple, but the darn thing pushes pretty hard. I mean, I gotta put a little bit of pressure on that, which prevents me from doing some really quick dan to dan to dan 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 to dan to dan 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 which I thought I was gonna be able to do. There is a learning curve too, because of the delay caused in pushing the darn switch. Now, it is really well made, but uh, it, uh, there is a learning curve involved. So you might want to think of some alternates. Now, I chose the big one so that there's a nice big target. Some of the smaller Tessie switches might be easier to push down, but I thought a nice large button would be easier and so I would recommend that. Now, as far as getting used to the darn thing, set yourself up, just spend some time making some noise. Get yourself a good tone, as I have here. That's really loud. But I've got a great tone through the Ignator. Everything today is on the Ignator. I've been putting some hours on this lately. Such a fun amp. And on the back side of this video, you're gonna hear it with the new overdrive I got. I sold the PV Invective, and as part of that deal, got a 5150 overdrive thrown in, and I'll tell you what, that thing through the Ignator sounds absolutely gnarly. It's nasty. Nasty. All right, so get yourself a good tone. Hit some beats. set up a good tone and just spend some time fooling around with it, making some noise. It's pretty cool. You need one guitar with a kill switch on it, don't you? Um, less effective in rhythm playing than every occasionally when you have that high descending lead note that you want to beep back into an alternate note. And then you can pretend that you're John 5 as well. Anyway, it's a super simple device, but think about, you know, options. Go to a hardware store, perhaps. Pick one up for three and a half bucks, and you might find something that does have a lighter press. Lighter press. Okay, old guy Jammin is here. I am out. I'm gonna watch so a lot of killer football today. And we'll see you next time.